thought it was great. I liked all the, um, the ability to give public input, to be able to rank what we felt was important. Um, I thought it was great. Very enjoyable. Yeah. And so when you imagine Dubuque in the next 10, 15, 20 years, I guess, what do you imagine? What do you see? Well, I see us um, growing uh, with the Southport and the Northport. Um, also, I look at more opportunities um, for retail. And I also look at more opportunities for educational institutions. And a um, big thing is to retain our workforce. And so you were part of the um, kind of millennial discussion group. What were some of kind of the, um, the key, I guess, recommendations, or maybe takeaways from that discussion? Sure. So as a millennial, um, I also feel that this group reflected um, a lot of how I feel. And it's also um, something that I'm a part of a millennial group outside of this, um, that it's very important for us to not only maintain something that's unique, but also has a little bit of diversity to it. Diversity doesn't bother us. Um, but also it's something that, um, as Dubuquers, networking is huge. Building um, up community parks that are not only super cool, like the Millwork District and the Port of Dubuque, but also revitalizing areas that need a little bit of more TLC that encompass um, Dubuque. Um, so tell me about kind of where you go from here in the process and how you use the information that was gathered during the workshop tonight. Sure. Uh, this workshop, as well as our follow-up workshops, we'll be, we'll be using this information, as well as information from our, our website, our app, and other opportunities for engagement to identify goals and values uh, for residents of Dubuque. Uh, we're going to take that information and develop a plan on how to uh, achieve those goals. And so um, I guess what's kind of the timeline in terms of um, drawing up the con comprehensive plan, you know, once the soonest that the community could see something, the soonest the council would be voting on something? Sure. Uh, the current schedule is that the new City View Comprehensive Plan draft will be prepared in August and we're hoping that that will be uh, in front of City Council for their consideration in October of 2017. Okay, and lastly, I guess why should residents um, care about this process, care about the comprehensive plan, you know, why is it pertinent to them, their lives? That's a great question. Um, residents are the most important part of this process. It's their ideas that create the future for our community. And this is the plan that serves as a roadmap for achieving those goals. So that's what makes this plan meaningful. That's what makes us relevant and that's what makes it important. It's our residents' participation and their input in this process. It is essential to what we're doing.